here to see you. Pastor, there's some people here I want you to meet. Mrs. Dixon, the least you could do is say... Oh, no, baby, now is not the time. Go on, I'll talk to you. <laughs> now, Pastor, I would like for you to meet my favorite nephew, John Braxton and his beautiful fiance, Cynthia Porter. It's a pleasure meeting you both. Same here, Reverend. <laughs> Reverend? Please, have a seat. Now, Pastor, these two <clears throat> lovely children want to get married in our church, and I want oh. you to perform the honors. You want me, huh? Mm -hmm. Miss Hattie Dixon actually wants me to perform a service. Mm -hmm. I am highly honored. <laughs> well, don't be. I'm on a limited budget. <laughs> so, when do you two lovebirds want to jump the broom? As soon as possible. Oh, <laughs> as soon as possible, huh? Any other big family events we should be worried about? Oh, oh. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. It's no, like not, that. not Pastor. Before John's mother passed, I promised her that he would have a wedding that she could be proud of. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to throw the biggest wedding this church ever seen. Mrs. Moneybags Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you. Don't play me cheap. <laughs> Cynthia, how does your family feel about a big wedding? Well, there's just my father, and he can't be here. Why not? He lives too far away. Where does he live? Uh, Canada, Toronto. Well, I hear they have airplanes in Canada now. <laughs> Reverend, my father and I haven't gotten along in some time, and I think things would be better if he just wasn't here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's why I would really like a small wedding. Well, now, Cynthia, baby, since my sister passed, I've been like a mother to John. And I could feel the same role in your life, if you like. That's very sweet, Miss Dixon. <laughs> Good. Now, baby, why don't you talk to Mama about this big old wedding you're going to have? <laughs> See, the first thing we got to do is get you registered in Beverly Hills. Come on, Vegas, come on. Uh, Mrs. Dixon, uh, can I at least end my own meetings? Not today. <laughs> And I think I forgot my sunglasses. Uh, you got a minute, Reverend? You getting cold feet already. <laughs> Reverend, let me level with you. Cynthia's father doesn't live in Canada. He lives right here in Los Angeles. Oh. Well, at least he's a lot less likely to get trampled by a moose. Not a lot. I suppose it's not really the problem. No, it's not. Uh, Reverend, I have tried to get them together, but it, it just really hasn't worked out. So I was hoping that you could call them and see what you can work out. Look, here's his number. Well, can you at least give me some idea what the problem is or we know what we're getting into? Well, um, the, the situation is, well, Cynthia's a little embarrassed around her John, father because... are you coming? We're going to go register for wedding gifts. <laughs> Come on. We better do what the lady says, John. It's good practice for marriage. <laughs> Reverend, uh, Cynthia's father's here. Oh, good. Send him in. Well, actually, there's something that you should know about him. Which is why he's here, so please send him in. <laughs> okay. Sir, the Reverend will see you now. This is Mr. Porter. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to drive all over Compton looking for him. <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Porter. Um, please, have a seat. So, you're Cynthia's father. I know what you're thinking. She looks just like her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you ain't had that gold tea, I couldn't tell you apart. <laughs> Plus, she's a little taller. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Porter, I called you here to talk about the rift that exists between you and your daughter. You really should be at Cynthia's wedding. I know. That's every father's dream, to walk down the aisle with his daughter. But what can I do? I'm a little person, and my daughter's embarrassed by me. Well, Mr. Porter, maybe I can help. I don't know, Reverend. This has been happening for quite some time. Well, listen. Why don't you come to the parsonage for dinner? I'll invite Cynthia and John, and maybe together 
We can take care of your problem. I'm <laughs> down with that. Wonderful. Pastor, I think I missed my calling. I should be in the wedding planning business. I just got a deal on the flowers that you wouldn't believe. Oh, it's going to be so wonderful. Is it? Yes! <laughs> Well, Mrs. Dixon, this is Mr. Porter, Cynthia's father. <laughs> Mrs. Dixon is John's aunt. I'm happy that my daughter will marry into such a fine family. And I'm happy that my nephew will marry into such a fine family. I'm just sorry I won't be there to see the wedding. Why not? Well, Cynthia seems to be embarrassed when she's with her father. Because I'm a little person. Honey, most men that stand next to me feel like little people. God knows that's the truth. You be there. Thank you, Miss Dixon. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Well, keep sniffing. <laughs> That's for company. I get it. I know. <laughs> hey, Mr. Porter. Good evening, Reverend. <laughs> Please come right on in. You remember Mrs. Dixon? It would be hard to forget such a charming lady. And please, both of you, call me Nick. Well, then you'll have to call me Hattie. And we'll still call you Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you don't go messing in my kitchen, and I don't go dunking in your baptisms. <laughs> you let her talk to you like that? You want to be the one to tell her to stop? <laughs> Not if I was ten feet tall. <laughs> I get that. That must be the kids. Must be. <clears throat> T. Uh, Remy Red. <clears throat> You know that key you gave me to the uh, boiler room and you told me that you and I had the only two copies of it? Oh, Lord, I think I know where this is going. And you said you would twist me up like a pretzel if I lost it? Yeah. Well, you better break out the mustard and the salt and start twisting. <laughs> T, is this something that has to be handled right now? Rev, if I don't get down in that church and turn it down, man, it's going to be hotter than a I, 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 I think I understand what you're saying, T. Mr. Porter, this is little T. And Little was actually part of his name. They call you Little? Uh, yeah, but I see what you mean, bro. <laughs> I guess reaching that top floor elevator button is a big, 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 big old problem, huh? <laughs> Not if my slam dunk is working. <laughs> Man, I bet you the last one to know when it's raining. <laughs> Whenever I go to a party, everyone asks, where's Snap and Crackle? <laughs> That's good, bro. You so little, I can see your feet on your driver's license picture. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I used to wear hand me downs for my sister's Ken doll. <laughs> and G.I. Joe, too. <laughs> You're right, man. Go ahead, man. The plane, the plane. Listen, listen, y'all. I can't really find the key anywhere, so why don't we go to my office and find it? All right? Will you excuse us both, Nick? Of course. <laughs> Nice meeting you, Big T. Hey, man, it's my pleasure, big guy. <laughs> Stay up. <laughs> Lemonade, Nick. No, thanks. I hope I did the right thing by coming over here tonight. Well, Nick, I'm really sorry about your problem with your daughter. Thank you, Hattie. That's very sweet. I've been going through this for so many years. I've given up fighting it. But it still hurts, doesn't it? Yes. Ever since my wife passed away, I've been lost and lonely. Well, honey, I'm a widow, too, so I know exactly how you feel. Oh, I didn't realize we were in the same club. Mm-hmm. Nobody else really understands, do they? No, nobody does. It's a desolate feeling. Oh, Nick, I know. It's just so hard. I know, Nick. It's funny. It took two young people in love to bring us together like this. And 
Speaking of those two young people, you know, I was just wondering what to serve at dinner for the wedding. Now, I like salmon, and most people like salmon, but, you know, I like it sprinkled with a little rosemary. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right. Maybe, um, cornmeal. You know, why don't I just make croquettes? Why?